Hi friends, today we are going to learn how to draw a fireman's truck. I am so excited for this. So what you'll need, you'll need colors, uh, markers. You need a red marker, yellow marker, black, green, and blue marker, and a gray marker as well. All right, let's get started. So to start off, let's, let's draw the front of the fireman's truck. So we're going to draw the little hubcap down there, and we're going to draw the front face. I love firemen's trucks, by the way. They are so cool. And what firemen do is super duper helpful for our community. So we draw the window there, and then we draw the, the kind of front segment of this truck. And now we're drawing a circle around where the wheel will be, a little curve there. It's not a complete circle. Now let's uh, let's draw a little a little shield around the wheel that helps keep the wheel protected from splashing the engine, uh, the the truck and, and other other vehicles. Then we draw the wheel, a circle with a smaller circle inside. And now we have the front wheel drawn and the front part of the truck. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna draw the back part, the bed of the truck. Now we draw another spot for a wheel. We're gonna draw a circle around it for the wheel. There we go, draw another circle in the middle. Good, now we have two wheels on the side of this fireman's truck. Now we draw it back. We draw it up, and now we draw the top of the truck, and it goes down. There we go. Hey, it already kind of starts to look like a fireman's truck. So now, let's draw a line here. Let's draw a couple more lines that go across the truck. Draw another line. Job. Okay, now we're going to draw the windows. So it's kind of a rectangle there. Let's draw one more window here. Great. Look at now they can look outside. And they can see where they're driving. That's a good thing to have in a fireman's truck and in any vehicle that we draw, huh? So now let's draw a few of the back windows. A big window back here. This is probably going to be a blacked out window though, because we don't want people to see if there's uh, what's going on in there, but we want them to be able to see out what's going on outside. And then we'll draw a little, a little siren light so it can go anytime there's a fire, let, let all the traffic, all the other cars know that it's coming. So we'll have a, a siren light in the front and another siren light in the back. Let's draw a mount here. This will be um, a mount that we can put the, the fireman's ladder on. So we drew a triangle there. I'm really excited. This is a fun drawing to be doing. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Wow. And then you draw the ladder across and down. So we're drawing the, the rung right there, the end of the, the ladder there. Now we need to draw the other side of the ladder all the way across. Here we go. We've got a little thing holding the ladder there. So now Let's draw some of the rungs. Well, actually, let's first draw that um, yeah, will make it kind of thicker. So it's not just a line. We'll have um, these rungs. Every, every foot or two, there will be a rung in our fireman's ladder. And that's what firemen use when they want to climb up and they need to help someone in a burning building. They can use ladders to help them get down or so they can go up and put out the fire 
even on a building that's very tall. All right. I love firemen. They help people. They save people's lives. They're super duper special people. So here we've got some wires, some some things that are holding down the ladder, making sure it won't fall off. Yeah, and some reinforced um, bars, making the, the ladder even stronger. Or it could even be multiple ladders. All right, now let's make a little circle around this tire. Circle it around. We're going to color it in with black. I'm using a, we're using a black Sharpie here because Sharpies are, are very deep, dark colors. And it makes it stand out a little bit more in the video so you can see it better. Let's do, let's do that on this wheel over here, on this left wheel. We'll color in the black around the rim. Let's color that in with dark black. Just color it in, there we go. All right, it's looking good. Let's see, what else should we color? There we go, let's let's put in some, some dots. We've got the, the hubcaps there on the wheel. All right, so now comes the fun part. Let's color the fire truck red. So we're gonna start coloring here on this bottom front part of the truck, just color it red. Just fill it in with lots of good bright colors. I remember one time growing up on my street, I lived on the same street as a fireman and he would sometimes have a fireman's truck outside of his house. I remember how big it was. And one time it was really sad, there was actually a, a fire that happened um, on his house and they had to get the fire truck there to spray it down with water to try to put out the fire. Um, fire trucks have these big long hoses that they used to spray down fires. Um, nowadays, they also have some other things to put out fire besides hoses. They also put out fires with um, like a certain kind of gas or, or fire extinguisher. If you have seen in your house, there might be this cylinder, kind of like a big bottle that, that isn't to drink. It's just to spray fires with gas to help put out fires because fires need oxygen to burn, and if they don't have oxygen, then they won't keep on burning. So that's, those are a couple ways to put out fires. So let's just keep on coloring this fire truck. Make it all filled in with, with a nice red color. And if you don't have red, you can do it with other colors. You could color it orange. <laughs> that might um, make it look a little different, but that'd be kind of fun. Uh, there's nothing wrong with, with coloring it a different color. So here we go. We're about halfway done coloring this uh, fireman's truck. There we go. It's going well. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's color it in. You know, I remember as well, when I was younger, I went to a fireman station. That's where they have, where all the firemen work, and they wait there, and when there's a fire somewhere, or an accident, sometimes they'll go and they'll help out at traffic accidents, things like that, they'll come, um, they'll get like a phone call, or, or a bell will ring, and will let them know that they need to hurry and, uh, and go and help put out a fire. They even have things called fireman's poles um, where they can jump down and slide down it like a slide uh, to, to get down quickly from, from downstairs without having to go downstairs. It's, it's kind of cool. 
So we're going to color in these back windows. Um, so that way they're kind of blacked out. Um, we mean, you know, if there's people back there, we might not want um, people to be able to see in, but we could make it so so that they can see out, but that we can't see in the window. So we'll just black out those windows there or red out the windows, I guess you could say. All right, now let's see, what do we want to color next? We could color the road or we could color uh, the ladder on the roof or we could color the wheels. Let's see, let's color the windows. Let's color them with this nice light blue color. There we go. Ooh, those windows look so nice, don't they? So we color in the windows with light blue and now they're looking great. All right, what should we color next? We can color in that line on the side of the fireman's truck. We can color the ladder on top of the truck. We could color in, uh, we could make a ground for the truck to drive on, like a road. Um, let's color this bottom with gray. We'll make that a nice, like a metallic gray right at the bottom of the truck. Let's color this, this metal thing up here, this little holder. Um, we'll color that gray as well. There we go, we'll color in that metal gray. Yeah, we'll color in, also we'll color in this ladder to make this ladder look like it's made out of metal because a lot of ladders are made out of metal because metal's very strong. And if it's made out of aluminum, it can also be very light. So a fireman can pick up a ladder and move it very quickly um, to where they need to and it's not too heavy. So they can use it to climb up. It's very strong, but they can also lift it and it can extend to go very high. Even on tall apartment buildings it can help them get on the second or, or third level of the fl uh, floor. Um, to help put out the fire and help rescue anyone who might be trapped inside during a fire. So we're gonna color in, we're gonna color in this all to be this gray metal color. And if you don't have a gray marker, you could color it in black or, or any color that you have that you want to do, you could color it in. So we'll color that in, there we go, all right. Our ladder's looking pretty good. Now what should we color? We could color in the wheels. Let's color, there we go. I noticed one of the little prongs there was was missing one of the sides of the, of the ladder. So we just fixed that. So what do we want to color now? We could color a, um, we could color more of the vehicle or we could color its background. Let's color the tires gray. So we're gonna color around the tires. And there is nice gray color. Yeah, these rubber tires. Those are big tires. A fire truck has to have really big tires because fire trucks can weigh a lot. They can weigh thousands of pounds um, because they all, uh, they've got ladder and they've got people and it's a big truck. So we're gonna color in the bottom to be this metal gray as well. And this top by the siren lights will have that be metal. A little hubcap in the front of the truck that will also be green. And we'll color it that. Now let's color um, in the handles to open up the door of the fireman's truck. Now let's see what do we want to color. Let's color this little shield around the wheel. We'll just color that kind of a, a black color. There we go. We got that one wheel on the left. Now let's color around the wheel on the right. And this is just one side of the fireman's truck. On the other side, there would be two other wheels, but we're just drawing it as if you're looking from the side. So what should we color next? We could color in the ground. Or let's color in the lights. We'll make them this this uh, orange red color. 
so that way when the lights are flashing they can make different colors and and let people know that the fireman truck is coming now let's let's color a road he's driving on a road right the fireman trucks on a road so we have the fire truck now let's color these little lines in the middle of the road you'll notice when you're driving on the road there's almost always these these white or these yellow lines in the middle of the road that let cars know they should stay on what side of the road so this fire truck would would stay on the right side of the road and if another vehicle had to drive past them they'd be on the other side of the road but anytime you have a like a police car or a fireman's truck um, doing its siren um, it's good courtesy to pull over to the side of the road so they can pass you let's color some trees in the background so here's some some roots of the tree, the tree trunk. Let's color in the, the branches there of the tree. And let's make this a fluffy tree with lots of leaves. Can't see the leaves, but we'll, we'll color in that later. So we're going to draw another tree. Draw the, the tree trunk. And we're going to make some branches. And, uh, and then color that in afterwards. And uh, we'll have we'll have it be like grassy area, and then behind it we can put a sky. So let's draw some stuff on this side, on the back side of the fire truck. There we go. Oh, that's a big tree, huh? Now we're gonna. Whoa! Look at how many leaves that tree has. We'll make it look like it has some roots that go into the ground. Then we're going to draw the ground, the grass layer. And let's just... Whoa, look at that. There we go. All right. Those could be bushes or we could make them into clouds later or mountains. So we're going to add some texture to the tree trunk. We're going to add these lines. And that makes it look like the tree has bark or tree skin, it's called bark. Um, bark is comes in different colors, it's often brown. Um, on some trees, like the white birch tree, it's actually kind of white and black, with black marks on it. So we're gonna texture the tree trunk and the bark so it looks a certain way. Great, that looks like a nice tree, doesn't it? So now, what should we color? We have a few options. We can color the road, we can color in the trees, we can color in the sky. Let's color in the trees, that sounds like a fun idea. So we're going to color in the tree trunk brown. We're going to have it be brown bark and that's going to be wonderful. So we're coloring the tree trunk to be brown. This is great. There we go, we've got one tree trunk. Let's color in this small tree trunk, brown. You can still see the texture there with the black marks. It looks like bark. Can you say bark? Bark, it's not like bark like a dog. It's, it sounds the same, but it's, bark is the, the side of a tree. It's that thick skin that makes a tree really rough on the outside and it protects the tree from, from animals and from weather and it helps the tree stay safe during the winter time. Um, and some trees, if you tap into their trunk, um, if you drill into their bark, some actually produce sap, which makes maple syrup. So let's color in the, the leaves of the tree. But instead of drawing the individual leaves, we're just gonna color in all of the leaves to be green. So we're gonna color in with this darker green and there's a lot of different ways you can color it in. We like to color it in with straight lines, but you can color it in using kind of a bunch of circles or whatever works for you. Um, one of the best things about coloring is it's all about having fun. So there's not just one right way to color. Coloring's just a, a way you can have fun and you can show people what you're thinking about. And so it's very, very fun. All right, what should we color now? Maybe we should get a different color green for the for this other tree. So we're gonna make this uh, a little bit of a different color, kind of bluish green. 
for the the tree in the background coloring in that that tree there and now we just need to color in the other tree to make it green as well so let's color that in and we're going to do it with a different color green it's a it's a light green it's kind of like a lime yellow green green very light and bright i like that color it looks really nice so we color that in and the trees are looking more colorful this is exciting by the end of this drawing everything's gonna be all colored in and look really nice we still need to color the road we also need to color in the grass and the sky um, but we're, we're getting there we're making progress so let's just stay with it and let's color in the grass now with this with this green I really like this green so we'll color in the grass with this light green and we'll see what that looks like wonderful look at that it looks beautiful and so we color it all in around the roots yeah there we go on the sides of the trunks Ooh, this is coming together this is starting to look really nice I'm really excited about this let's color the grass behind the fire truck so we're gonna color it in with this lime green color there we go now let's do underneath the tree trunk we'll color on the sides of it we'll color down cover over it and then we'll fill it in here we go nice doesn't that look like nice green grass that'd be fun to play on I'd love to go and run around on grass right now that would be wonderful right now where I am though it's really cold outside it's winter time so I wouldn't I wouldn't want to run outside on the grass unless I was really bundled up warm so now what should we color we can color the asphalt on the road or we could color these these bushes or uh, in the background let's color those in here we go make sure it's all colored in and there we go let's color it on the other side of the fireman's truck right over here so we'll color that in wow there we go this is really starting to get colorful imagine how good it will look the picture when we when we color in the sky and and we color uh, the road as well to be really colorful this is going to be wonderful so we're going to color these lines in the middle of the road we're going to color them in with yellow yellow stripes in the road and like I said that helps people driving cars and driving the fire truck to know what side of the road to drive on because it's not safe to drive on the wrong side of the road where I live you got to drive on the right side of the road but in some places in certain countries they actually drive on the left side of the road and it's very interesting so let's see do we want to color in the road do I want to color a gray or maybe a black for the asphalt on the road I think that would probably work best let's color it in with black so we're coloring it in with black there we go nice black color wonderful and just color it all in let me tell you some interesting things about roads while I'm when we're, while we're driving uh, drawing this black road so black absorbs heat really well and so when it's a really hot sunny day a black road gets very very hot it gets so hot that in some places like Arizona you could go outside and you could cook an egg just on the road yeah, it's pretty crazy how hot they can get if you're walking barefoot on the road which wouldn't be safe because cars drive in the road and 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 roads are very dangerous but if you were to be uh in it without any shoes or socks on the road could get so hot it could actually burn your foot another interesting fact about roads is that roads have a shape it's called a crown shape they're they're kind of bent and they're taller in the middle they're kind of like a hill a little bit in the middle of the road 
they're a little bit taller than on the edges of the road. And what that does is it helps water to run off. So that way, if there's a lot of rain, the roads don't get flooded with a bunch of water and you have to drive through big puddles on, on the road as much because the water can drain off the sides of the road and go into gutters and then go into the sewage system. And so they have this crowning of their road. It means it's they're kind of bent or they're like a hill in the middle and that helps um, snow and, and rain to, to leave the, the road faster. Another interesting fact about roads is the black stuff that they're made out of, from what I understand, is made out of asphalt, um, which has some kind of, has some oils in it, has a, uh, so they can actually be kind of slippery after it rains because oils come out of the road often. But there, there's different kinds of roads. There's, there's uh, you know, you could have roads where it's just cement or concrete you can have roads that are asphalt, which most roads are. Um, asphalt starts off being very soft and then they can roll over it with some big heavy rolling machines. And then it gets harder with time and it's a really nice smooth surface to drive on. Um, but I mean, there's also, I lived in Argentina for a while and there there's a lot of dirt roads in certain towns and dirt roads are are fine to drive on sometimes, but also sometimes they can get like nails and pokey things that could poke a hole in your tire and pop your tire so that you can't drive safely. Um, so there's all sorts of different kinds of roads. Um, there's probably even places where there's roads, you know, in, in Europe made out of bricks, a bunch of bricks put together. Um, well, let's now draw the sky. Let's draw this nice, light blue, beautiful blue sky. So we're gonna draw in all these white places in the background. We're gonna color in the sky blue. Maybe I can tell you some interesting facts about skies. So skies, um, in the skies there's different types of clouds. Um, I don't know if I'll draw any clouds right now, but maybe in another video I can show you how to draw clouds. So clouds, um, there's different kinds of clouds that look differently. Some of them are, are light and fluffy. Others are kind of in lines and they look stormy. Um, there's a saying that um, red at night, sailors delight. So if the sky turns red at nighttime for the sunset, that often means that the next day it'll be blue skies, clear blue skies. In some parts of the world though, you could have a nice day, but it wouldn't actually be that blue. Some parts of the world have lots of pollution that makes the sky turn gray. And if there's lots of pollution and the sky turns gray, then no matter how nice of a day it is, it still is gray in that city, like in big cities, like in certain places in China where there's a lot of pollution. Like say if you went to Shanghai, um, or if you were to go to New York City, a big city, um, there's often pollution because there's so many cars driving on the road and they let out um, some some gas and some some pollution um, which isn't safe to, to breathe in. it can be harmful if there's too much well anyway I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to draw a fire truck with me uh, next time you see a fireman make sure you say thank you for helping keep us safe because they they put their lives at risk to help us to be safe and firemen are wonderful people so thanks for watching 